Okay, welcome to Everspark 101, where I'm going to talk about Everspark and how awesome she is and show you how to use her abilities. I'm going to start on the left. Actually, I'm going to start on the actual Everspark herself. She has a hero perk, which is Robot Overlord. She will throw critters for no GBE. She will stand behind your troops and just throw critters and throw critters and throw critters and throw critters. So that is the Robot Overlord perk. It is fantastic. As you upgrade her to level 13, which is her maximum, she will eventually throw 13, or sorry, she will eventually throw 12 critters every four seconds. And that is incredibly, incredibly useful. But you, it is not to be confused with her Critter Swarm. Her Critter Swarm is something completely different and it is tied to actual hero tokens. So if you want her to throw lots and lots of critters for free, yes, yes you do, and you want it to happen often, you need to upgrade her using gold. Not using, not using hero tokens, using actual gold. So that is the first misconception that I want to get out of the way. Upgrade, upgrade Everspark, don't upgrade the critter swarm. So I'll show you the I'll show you what the what the actual now this is this is old news to a lot of people and this is boring. So I will put a timestamp down here of when to skip to actually interesting stuff that I think is interesting. This might be interesting to you too as well, but it's just base stuff that I'm going over. I'll get over it soon. Here we go. So as long as Miss Everspark is out in the open, she's gonna drop critters. Right now, she's gonna stand there. We're gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Then she's going to do, guess what? Drop critters. We'll then count to five again, and she will drop more critters. It seems like forever, but it's actually only five seconds right now. If you get her to level 13, she will then drop every four seconds. And instead of dropping three critters, she will drop 12, which would be absolutely amazing. So you'll also notice if she's under smoke, she doesn't do anything. You can push all the buttons you want. You can wait all the time you want, and she won't throw critters, she won't throw bombs, she won't use her remote, she'll just stand underneath smoke. So that is the uh, hero perk that is called, what's it called? I think it's called Robot Overlord. So it's fairly used, actually that's very, very useful, I should say, not fairly useful, it's awesome. So, and secondly is the hero swarm. So we're gonna drop her again over here. You push the button and bam, you get critters. Now, that is not terribly useful unless you're a low level and don't actually have critters in the first place. So if you don't have critters, that is very useful. If you do have critters, you know what's way better? Critters. So you can actually put them where you want instead of just dropping them right in front of her. Actually, and they drop actually behind her, which is a little bit annoying. So, um, but once you get that upgraded, I mean, level one throws, what's that, eight, I think it throws eight critters, yes it does, level two throws 10, level three throws 12, level throw four throws 14, and level five throws 16. So once you get up to level five, yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty useful, but right now it's only throwing eight, and again, they're throwing right in front, so it's way better just to throw them wherever you wanna throw them. So my, I'm not a big fan of this ability, I don't use it, I think it's, except on my low level account where I don't have critters. So if you don't have this button right here that's actually throw critters, it can be handy. So I think that's HQ level 18 and below, but otherwise leave this ability at home. It's a waste of GBE. So moving on, we have another, let's see, just wanna make sure this isn't the attack note. So moving on, we have the next ability, which is called explosive charges. Explosive charges starts at 4,800 damage, and it goes all the way up to 12,800. So again, this ability is not terribly useful. You drop Everspark, you push the button, and she throws an artillery. Basically throws an artillery, but you know what's better than an artillery? An actual artillery that you can actually throw to the back of the base. So it's not overly useful unless you want to take down bases with Everspark herself, but you see how much it is? It's now 18 GBE for something that is about as much damage as an artillery and it doesn't scale nearly as well. So again, explosive charges, if you're a low level, maybe there might be some instances where it'll be handy, but again, not necessarily a good source or a good way to spend your hero tokens. So on to the next. 
Universal Remote. Now the beauty of Universal Remote is that it does everything you need it to do at level one. You don't need it to be level two. It doesn't control more buildings at different levels. All it does is control them for longer. So it, it at the next level, it'll do 125% damage boost. But again, you don't need that. All you need is it to do its job in the first place. So moving on, the the beauty of the universal remote is it works exactly as advertised if you push a button like i'll put her over here i'll push a button and she'll walk up and she'll take control of that cannon and then everything attacks the cannon and guess what no more cannon pretty great so that is how the universal remote works i'll get into a bit more technical details now but i also wanted to show one more thing before i do that if we look at the omi base let's scout it one of the problems with rocket launchers well actually one of the problem more than great things is the fact they have blind spots as you can see this rocket launcher cannot see either of the other rocket launchers or the shock launcher but if we go back to our base and we attack uh, I'm going to do that quickly. Here we go. We're going to attack. If we drop Miss Everspark here and we push the button, Hacky. we push the button and all of a sudden that rocket launch oops, we need to, let's, let's put this out of the way. All of a sudden that rocket launcher, oh, uh, if it's not being shocked by the shock launcher that is, it can actually attack other rocket launchers. Other rocket launchers can see it. So a little bit confusing. Um, all of a sudden, things can see one another that was really that was probably the worst demonstration you could possibly imagine i'll go back and do that now that will put that down under the fail category okay let's do that one more time so same thing i'm going to come back i'm going to drop miss everspark i will push the button i'll put her under smoke and then i will shock the shock launcher oops i didn't not that is fail number two if we get fail number three, I'm just gonna quit the video and go upstairs and have a beer and relax. That, that's not a very tough threat because that's kind of what I want to happen. So um, let's put Everspark down. I'll push the button and I will shock this stuff. You notice all of a sudden the rocket launcher starts attacking things that are right next to it. And those things are underneath those things should be in its blind spot. So you can't really see what it's doing because it's shooting so darn close, but the fact remains that as soon as they get hit by the remote, their blind spot goes away. So pretty handy, something worth putting in your back pocket. Now, what I wanted to show you was a specific portion of this. So with Miss Everspark, she, as we talked about earlier, she can't do anything under smoke. So I'm gonna put her flag right there and then i'm gonna smoke her all the way up there now actually let's put her right here actually just to be a little bit more obvious she targets the exact same way zookas do so if i push this remote button she's going to target the closest defense and guess what that is the rocket launcher that's right up against her so and if i flare her to right here let's get rid of let's retreat actually just because i'm going to get on to the next part so just to, I'll show you that one more time. Just that time she picked the middle rocket launcher. I'm going to attack one more time. Come on, Miss Sparky. Now, I'm going to flare her to right in front of this one, which, as you can probably guess, is going to get her to use her remote on the rocket launcher that's closest to her. We'll push the button, and boom, she selects the rocket launcher that's right in front of her. Let's put a shock on some stuff. She's going to drop her remote, and sure enough, it attacks stuff. Now, not terribly difficult to figure out, but I just wanted to show that she targets the exact same way Zookas do. So first off, she attacks based on proximity, and then what we're going to do is the old damage test. So we're going to damage the shock launcher. I'm going to put her way over here. We'll run her up front. I'll push the button and sure enough she selects the shock launcher now this should be interesting because it should be able to shock both all three of the rocket launchers we'll see how it goes the sh smoke wears away she the shock launcher then shocks all the rocket launchers and we can do to them as we see fit so very very handy you can basically override with damage so before you drop all spark you damage the building you want her to take over and boom she takes it over and everything absolutely destroys that building so 
Let's do one more test. So say, for example, there's a damaged building right here. Both these rocket launchers are damaged and we want her to control the shock launcher. So what you need to do in that case is say we're going to bring her up here. We're going to use smokes. You push the button and we see that it selects a rocket launcher. If you then sh flare the shock launcher, what's going to happen is, guess what? Sparky's going to take over the shock launcher. It's as simple as that. If you push the remote button and you don't like the result, you basically just have to use a flare and you can override and say, nope, you need to target this building. So, but what you can't do, and I can't stress this enough, and this confused me for a bit, is if you say, for example, let's do our same damage again, we'll damage these two rocket launchers. If I flare the shock launcher and I drop her, she's gonna walk up and guess what? She's going to target the damaged building. And you're gonna wonder what, oops, I forgot to push the button, there we go. See, we had flared the shock launcher, but she's attacking the rocket launcher. The flare is clearly on the shock launcher, but she attacked the rocket launcher. So flares with AllSpark don't matter until after you've pressed the remote button. That is the biggest thing you need to remember. So once more, I'll show you that and try not to screw it up this time. We're going to flare the shock launcher. I'm going to drop her and we'll push the button. And it actually worked, I think. Must be a, must be based on proximity. Yeah, I must not quite be. I'm gonna abort this test. My God, it's hard to do this live. Okay, so things we've learned. Let's go back and do this again. I'm gonna flare her up nice and close. I'm gonna damage this stuff. I'm gonna flare her to here. Bam, bam. Then I'm gonna flare the shock launcher. And then I'm going to push the button and it selects the rocket launcher. That's because she selects her target based on damage. So I'm going to shock all this stuff just so we can stay alive. And we see that AllSpark takes over the rocket launcher, even though the shock launcher is flared. So very, very easy to override that. And, it, and it, it, to be honest, it works exactly how you would hope. Because what's going to happen is you're going to run up here, you're going to damage some stuff, then like right now, if we don't look at this very closely, we don't really know which, which one she's going to damage because all three of them are damaged. We're going to push the remote button. Nope, I don't want her to, to use the rocket launcher. I'm going to flare the shock launcher. And then by doing that, you've now overridden the damage and instead she uses what you flared. So very, very useful. Something that you can use definitely to your advantage. Like this AllSpark remote is awesome. I'll show you. Uh, you've already seen my attack last, probably you've already seen my attack last time. I'll put a thing to it here or try to. So I'm going to show you what uh, the Jeff attack is on Humble Pie. So right now, looking at Humble Pie, we've been clearing the right hand side of Rumble Pie. Just it's completely lazy, but it works. So right now, if we wanted to remove these shock launchers, we'd have to come in, we'd have to shock the, um, what are these things called? Shock blasters. We probably have to shock potentially these shock launchers. We'd have to shock these doom cannons. These rocket launchers probably won't be in range. And we have to shock these shock launchers. But instead, what you can do is simply walk Miss Allspark all the way up. And she walks up. She's out of range of absolutely everything. As soon as she gets in range, she gets smoked. And then the only buildings that are in, in her range are the shock launchers. So let's go down to one speed here. She gets shown, she pops underneath smoke, everything destroys the shock launcher. Her smoke time runs again. That flash was him pushing the button. She's still there. So far she's used like, what, two smokes, maybe three. The shock launcher gets destroyed, all spark dies. Not a big deal because now the Zookas can walk in behind her and not have to worry about those shock launchers. So very, very useful and an easy way to take out defenses without having to do anything as far as GBE goes. Then Mr. Jeff walks in, only has to use four smokes and manages to clear all sorts of stuff. 
without having to shock the shock launchers and all of the stuff next to Korra goes down. So very, very handy. A little bit of thought process has to go into it, but it is very, very useful. Now, one other thing I wanted to show is that her range is very, very, very good. So I'm, let's go like this. I'm gonna smoke her to right about here. Let's go. I probably only need to use three, yeah, three smokes. And then I'm gonna push her button. And then I'm gonna flare this way back here. Now you'll see that, sure enough, she can control that machine gun from all the way up the front. Huge range. That That is a similar range to Grenadiers. So then we're gonna push her button again and we'll control this sniper tower over here. She's gonna have to walk a little bit, but again, pretty darn good range. Let's push this button again, and we'll flare the boom cannon. Now, you'll notice she's shocked, going to be a problem, so I'm going to re-smoke her because she can't do anything when she's shocked. Very important detail. Now, she's shocked. Sorry, she's not shocked, I should say. The smoke clears. We drop a new smoke, and the boom cannon is gone. And the boom cannon also took out the building that was next to it. So very, very, very useful and tons and tons of range. Now you'll notice that Allspark is dead. My troops are still alive, so the, so the attack continues. What I'm gonna show you is a bit of an edge case. It is not something you need to worry about, but I figured just the more you know, the better. Reading rainbow, is that what that is? So I'm gonna drop all of my troops I'm going to try to do something awesome, you figure. So I'm going to say, like, see how much GB? I have 118 GB left over. So I'm going to plan to get this boom cannon back here. You'll notice that all my troops are going to die. Let's drop a barrage to speed it up. Now, I'm going to... What's, what you'd think would happen is I would be able to drop Miss Allspark here, but all of a sudden my attack ends. I still have a hero. I still have, a G, I still have GBE, but the attack ends. A little bit awkward. But you need to be aware that as soon as that happens, so let's try this again. You need to assume that Miss Everspark is up shoot. Duh. You have to assume that Everspark is a GBE ability. You can't hold out and drop critters 10 minutes after your troops die. You have about 10 seconds. And after that 10 seconds is up, the attack ends. So I'm gonna drop all of my Zookas right here. I'm going to barrage them. So all of my troops will now die. And then your critters and things start flashing. Let's get rid of that. Critters and things start flashing. You can still drop Everspark, but it has to be pretty quick. You can't just wait around for a flare to end or something like that. You have to drop her pretty quickly. And so one more thing on top of that. I'll do one more thing. I promise this is the last thing. If you drop all your troops, let's drop all eight boats of our troops. And your troops all die. But you manage to get Everspark dropped in time. And you smoke her to the back here somewhere. Look out for, look out for boom mines. They're dangerous. Boom mines and all spark and brick do not mat. Do not do not team very well. Now, you'll notice that, let's go like this. I'm gonna show you that if she dies, like, let's go like this. Come on, hopefully she dies quickly. The attack is over. Oh, and on, the, on operation attacks, your attack, oh, I guess it's if you don't have any GBE left. That's what it is. I just learned something new myself. So on my attack, on my operation attack, what I did was I went like this. That is wonderful. Okay, so. Let's drop all our troops. Holy, I'm back. The teacher, the teacher of your class is learning right now. So what I'm gonna show you is that we're gonna drop her. I'm gonna flare her up to right about here. We're gonna remove this boom mine. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all my GBE except for eight. You'll notice that I have, once I push this button, my attack is I have no GBE left. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I screwed it up. I got GBE back. So she's dead. The building that I 
use the remote on is still alive, but the attack ends. It's not, it doesn't matter the fact there's a remote there. All that matters is I have no GBE left, so my attack is over. I have no GBE and no troops, so my attack is over. It's a little bit different, not what you would expect. And if you're doing an operation attack, trying to use your last bit of GBE to take out a base, it is going to be a fail. I learned the hard way. Hopefully this, I'll show it with you one more time, just because it's a little bit confusing and it's like, it's like the 1% chance of happening. It's probably not going to be a thing, but I figured I would show it just in case. So I got no troops. I got miss, up oh, there goes my last of my troops. I got no troops now. I'm gonna get down to only have eight GBE left. Here we go. So watch this, I'll use the remote remote is used. I have nothing left for GBE, not enough to do any artillery or barrages or... Oh, come on and die. Way to ruin my edge case. Thank you very much. That was great. Um, just trust me. It works. If you have no GBE and no troops, your attack ends. It doesn't matter. The remote is not something that will keep the attack open. Makes sense in hindsight, but for me, when I was trying to do my operation attack, it did not show up. So I'll add that to the end here. Uh, hopefully that will be of use to you, but I hope this Everspark tutorial was useful. I hope that it is uh, something that you use. And if you have anything else to add to it, please let me know. I am not the expert. I am only the person that's passing this information along. So. One of the problems with troops is that, let's watch this, your Everspark drops the remote and your troops, if you flare it, oh look at that, your troops will walk right on top of it. Isn't that fancy? Look at that, you can actually stack on top of a building. Oh, that could be very, very handy. That could be very, very handy. Okay, so, interesting, interesting, interesting. Once the remote is used, the building is no longer a target and you can walk right on top of it. Very, very interesting. I'm going to pretend like I knew that. I'm going to pretend like that was on purpose. Um, again, if you have things that... Let's do this. I'm going to do... Let's do this. I want to try something fancy. This is going to be the end. I want to try something super, super fancy. Watch this. We're gonna go like this. I'm gonna remove the boom the boom mines because boom mines suck. I'm gonna drop Everspark. I'm gonna come up to here. I'm gonna flare up to here. I wanna see what the heck happens. Cause I'm gonna flare onto the shock launcher. Problem is it doesn't last for very long, so if I smoke it, does it hide? I don't think it does. Let's try this. Let's flare onto the cannon. I'm pretty sure that if we... Oops, see how I did that wrong? Because I'm an idiot. Let's try one more thing. I want to try one more thing while we're doing it live. Apologies, this is like the teacher trying to explain how to dissect a pig and then bringing in a frog at the last second. I just want to try one more thing just because I'm interested. Let's go like this. We're going to bring Allspark up to here. I'm going to push the remote button. She's going to select that cannon because it's closest. Now, here's what I want to do. Let's try this. I want to see if we can hide the cannon underneath smoke. Let's go like this. You'll notice that the cannon is not hidden. Everything still attacks it. So as soon as, it, as soon as that button is pushed, the magic happens. And you can't hide defenses. You, it's, they're not like troops. Like you'll notice that if you drop the smoke on the cannon, you can still see the cannon. If you drop the smoke on Allspark, she's supposedly, see how she's hidden? She's hidden a little bit better. So defenses are visible. You can't hide them even. So once you push the button, it's on. There's nothing you can do to stop it from happening and it's just instant death for that defense. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't matter what level remote we're using because the defense is gonna die regardless. The damage done to that defense is based on the troop, the buildings around it, so not terribly useful on that front, but you might be, you might be, take over boom cannons and destroy someone's base with no troops, but that's all I got. That is my attempt at an Everspark 101 class. 
If I've missed anything, please let me know. If you think that any of her abilities, like any of these two, are going to be useful, please let me know and please say why they'll be useful. I personally think that they need to be skipped. That and Brick's Cluster Grenade are going to be my absolute last three I ever upgrade. It's probably going to be Battle Orders, then it's going to be Iron Will, then it's going to be... I don't think the remote even needs to be upgraded at all. Level 1 is fine, so probably going to upgrade these two and then the explosive charges just to have a little bit of extra oomph behind Everspark. If you have a different upgrade order, please let me know. I'm very curious to see if someone's going to upgrade Critter Swarm. I don't see the point. If you have a point, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for tuning in. That has been Everspark 101. Peace.